dynamic warm-up versus a static warm-up. A lot of times when we were growing up, we were told to stretch a lot before we did an athletic activity or even just a regular walking activity. Research suggests that that's not a good plan anymore because what happens is when you do a stretch, static means that you hold it for a long time, that it actually shuts the muscle down. So if you're gonna do something where you're gonna run or you're gonna jump, you actually gonna have less active ability to do that and even just a regular walk you're going to have less of that muscle firing that you're looking for so we're going to just talk about a quick dynamic warm-up that you can do just for anything whether you want to do a sports activity or you're just going for a simple walk the first one is what we call butt kicks which is exactly what it sounds like you can either do it in place or you can do it down your hallway but you're just going to walk and you just want to try and use your heels and try and kick your butt it's just going to kick in the backs of the legs a little bit before you get going you can go back and forth down the hallway do it for about 30 seconds anywhere in there is fine the next one we're going to do is what we call high knees and it's kind of the reverse so you're going to put your hands in front and you're just going to bring your knees all the way up to your hands same thing you can do it traveling or you can just do it in place it won't make too much of a difference um, the third one we're going to do is squats and that's with a big asterisk you don't have to do real deep squats if you're just trying to warm up but what's real important is that you don't let your knees go forward so you want to make sure your knees stay over your toes and you're just going to sit your butt back and then come back up if you're struggling you can just do small ones it's just to get you to start working a little bit and get all your quads and those muscles firing a little bit if you're going to do a super aggressive athletic activity then yes you're going to want to really get your bottom down so that it's level with the knees without having your knees go forward the last one we're going to talk about is reverse lunges I like reverse lunges because they keep your pelvis a little bit more stable so it's not as hard on the back. And it's gonna be standing in one spot and you're just gonna take your leg back to do a lunge and then you're gonna come back. Rules you gotta follow is that you wanna make sure again, this knee does not go forwards, just coming straight down. And then you're gonna replace and switch to the other one and then come back up. You wanna make sure that you're only going as far as you can control. If you're going low and you're kind of doing this crazy wave, then you wanna go a little bit smaller. So those are just some quick, easy things to do before you're gonna do any activity. Walking, gardening, golfing, or going for a run or playing any type of sport.